Well, I want to just title this uh, message to Marines because I saw the uh, recent development about uh, in Yemen uh, where they said, you know, the Marines at the embassy uh, surrender weapons. You know, I don't know if they were destroyed weapons or whatever. That's what they should have been. Actually, everything should have been turned to dust. <laughs> That's where they should, whether they freaking said not to or not. But uh, I don't know if anybody turned in weapons or not, but there's all these conflicting reports. But one thing's obvious that Valerie Girat, you know, she, she was born and raised in Iran. Her family's from there. She openly states she wants to side with Iran, uh, push for Sharia law in the United States, and Obama is too. We know that. That's obvious 101. But what's the game going on here? Because the way I look at it is... No presidents are really, like, elected, per se. They're chosen. You know? They really are. You know, you could say that's conspiracy theory, but they are. So what's the deal? What I think's going on is that this whole deal is to really piss people off more. So in other words, it's good for uh, creating a war even, you know. I don't know. I think that's the game. But it's also weakening the United States at the same time. Um, but obviously, there are a bunch of yo-yos in the State Department. And I could say that because I'm not in the military or nothing. Uh, because, uh, what the hell was that bimbo that was saying that? We hope that uh, they respect our embassy and when we come back in there, it's going to be in the same condition it was before. I was like, lady, you're an idiot. Dumb cunt. That's all I gotta say. You know, but of course she's getting paid, you know, a quarter million dollars a year at your taxpayer's expense. Which makes me think, why the hell should I even pay taxes for that shit? You know? You know, I wanna know where my tax... Uh, you know what? I think I just take the money and, you know, if we gotta pay for defense, I'll buy bullets and give it to the military directly. You know? I don't need to freaking support freaking bimbos in the State Department. But uh, what's obvious is that Obama was chosen. And what's bugging me is, I don't really get the whole deal, but it's almost like, I think the real strategy is, the whole Middle East is going to go up in flames. The Saudi family is going to freaking get surrounded and destroyed. Um, Israel is going to get screwed up. I know a lot of people on YouTube think everything's a Jewish conspiracy. And I'm like, no it ain't. You dumb shit. You're still not going to, you know, I, I, I can't even argue this shit anymore. Because the protocols of Zion is so made up crap by the communists a long time ago. Um, it's not, you know, all the shit you see floating around on the internet that's, you know, this big Jewish conspiracy stuff. There's a little bit of truth to every freaking thing, every place out there where there's something bad about them, you know. But 99.9% .9 of all the crap you hear against Jews is garbage. You know, actually, the more I get, the more I'm like looking at religions and the three main religions, the more I'm siding with Jews, and it's not even because anybody's paying me, but it's like, Muslims? No freaking way. Those yo-yos are psycho nut jobs and haters to the max. Christians, a lot of those are full of shit and they hide behind the Jesus stuff and that they're saved so they could do anything they want. Jews, they're the only ones I ever saw that have a really strict code they go by. And a lot of people don't get it because they don't understand anything about it at all. So, that's where I'm coming from. A lot of people don't like that, but too freaking bad. So I'm not here to freaking tell you a bunch of shit people want to hear. But I think that there's a game going on here, a, another game going on. It's not like just Obama came out of nowhere. This guy was handpicked somehow. Every single pre you know, the congressmen aren't really handpicked because there's too many of them. And that's really where the people got the power in the House of Representatives. I don't want to state, like, make it sound like, you know, we got no choice and all the elite are controlling us. No, that's not true. Because most of the power is in the Congress, especially in the House of Representatives, because all the laws start there, all the money's appropriated there, 
They can defund anything they want, and they can even peach the freaking piece of shit president that we got right now. Actually, I'd be more for, like, uh, impeaching him and burning him at the stake, too, at the same time. You know, I, I don't even give a shit. <laughs> I don't care. I think he's a piece of garbage to the max. It's not, you know, it's, you can say, oh, you disrespect the president. Well, screw you. I don't give a shit. He's a piece of garbage, man. Actually, you know, compared to Putin, I like, you know, I like Putin better than Obama, man, as a person. I mean, and I criticize the hell out of freaking of Putin, but I also realize that Obama don't have the dictator dictator powers of Putin. You know, it's not that way in the United States, and it's not that we don't freaking worship one leader. If that's the whole freaking point, you know, it's not that I don't look at the person; I look at what the system is. Fortunately, we don't have it that much where Obama has had the power of Putin, or we'd really be screwed. We we'd, we'd be living under Sharia law right now, for crying out loud, or to be trying to do it. But, I don't know what the hell advice I can give to somebody, because I don't want to give advice if, I don't want to even say what I would do, because, I don't know, I might, I, I, I don't know, I probably would, I might just freaking get so fucking pissed off, I'd kill, I wouldn't even give a shit. That's probably what I would, that's probably why I was not in the Marine Corps no more, because they freaking realized that, you know? <laughs> but I wouldn't even give a shit. I wouldn't even give a shit. So, you know? But, uh, you know, as far as, like, what's going on, I think there's a, there's a method to the madness. It's like, you know, we got this leader, and it's like, he didn't just get in there by himself. There's people that put him in there. So there's something, there's something going on beyond this. And I think what they're really ultimately trying to do is create major conflicts in the Middle East to just eliminate the place, which is fine by me. I don't give a shit. I don't care. You know, I actually don't want to see Israel get screwed up, but the rest of it, I don't give a damn. Go ahead. You know, I'm going to tell you this right now. You don't, want to, you don't even want to know. I'll tell you exactly how I think. You know, first off, I have a lot of these yo-yos on the internet telling me about 911, and I'm like, yeah, no kidding. I knew that was just set up from day one. But you know, when I looked at that building coming down, I didn't give a shit. You know what I gave a shit about? The firemen, the cops that were in there, the janitor that was working in there, some of the, like, maintenance men, the big wig yo-yos in the offices you know it's the world trade center man the globalist shits you know the big high flying freaking i'm the power of new york and man i could rip people off so they got blown up i didn't even give a shit i mean there's people i did give a shit about but there was people i was like so i don't care i mean right when it was coming down i was thinking hey there's some globalist new world order freaking uh, world trade center Assholes freaking taking a nose dive into flames. I don't give a shit. You know, sometimes these truth or mover yo yo's don't even look at it that way, but I looked at it like that immediately. <laughs> you don't even want to know what my boss said. <laughs> you don't even want to know what he said, man. But, you know, it's like, you know, it's, it's sort of like there's always a silver lining on the dark clouds, you know? I mean, the best thing about Obama is that all these whack job Muslims are probably going to get wasted now because everybody's getting pissed off at him. But maybe that's the whole plan. I think it is. You know, there's going to be an intramural conflict contest between the Muslims in the Middle East, and there's also going to be the West is going to start getting so pissed off at them that they're going to be eliminated. And that's probably what the, that's probably what the elite are planned all along. You see? I think there's actually a method to the madness here. You know, there's a rhyme to the reason or whatever the hell you want to call it. So, But, um, I gotta say, I look around, actually I subscribe to the Alex Jones channel just to see what this yo-yo is putting out. But, man, that guy is disinformation piece of crap. I don't know what he is, to tell you the truth. That guy's really disgusting to me. I mean, his other ones are probably even worse than him, but, you know, they had the story about the, 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 
there was a huge explosion in Ukraine, and it wasn't a nuke. It was like, I don't know what it was, you know, a refinery, a chemical plant. I mean, they had, in Texas, they had explosions that big that were gunpowder factories. They've had that before. I mean, it's just like, wow. It's not the artillery round itself that was the thing that went off. It was what it hit. You know, if, like, another example is, you know, even look at World War II footage of uh, when it hit a magazine dump or to hit a ship and it hit still right where all the weapons are stored in the ship and the ship looks like it's a, a freaking atom bomb or something. You know, you realize it's not an atom bomb because it's World War II, but it looks like one. But, you know, he had to put it out like, was it a possible nuke? Now he's putting it out. Like, you know, is World War Three going to start with mini nukes? And then, you know, when he had the Ebola scared, it was like 5,000 freaking videos on Ebola and shit. And blah, 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 the elite are doing this. This guy, that guy never says nothing constructive. It's all fear. And he's working for Time Warner, along with Jesse Ventura. But said there's a method to the madness, man. There's something to it. Now, Obama, man, he thinks he's totally smug, but you know, I think he's a, I think he might be sacrificed. I don't even know. He might. I mean, I don't even give a shit because if he was like out of the picture, it wouldn't solve the problem. The real problem is the idiots that voted for this guy, man, because they weren't thinking all the way through what he was about. You know, they're thinking, oh, this guy's a different change. He's not from, you know, he came from somewhere else and he's not part of the establishment. You know what I look at it like if you vote for a president and you're thinking you want change, you want to freaking not get somebody from the establishment, do not vote for Republican or Democrat, period. Neither one of them. Take some other party. I don't give a shit what it is. One of the, don't vote for either one of those two. That's the only way you're going to freaking buck this system, you know, because every time now we're probably going to have Jeb Bush running for freaking president. I'm like, God, what the hell is this, the Bush royal, royal family over here or some shit? Those guys, they're just as bad as any. You're all screwed up, man. And we got the chain of ass kissers in the freaking Washington, D.C. They're always, they just suck up to this bullshit because they get paid fat checks. It's disgusting, man. But... I don't want to, I don't really want to say because I don't know what I would do in that situation, but it's almost like if I got too pissed off all of a sudden, I would I don't know what I would do. I don't know. I might be real cool about it all of a sudden, but then I'll be thinking, do I have an a, an opportunity to hit the jugular and nail a piece of shit and have fun and while I'm at it? Yeah, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, that kind of attitude get, doesn't help you survive in the military. I know that. Because <laughs> they want you to be a freaking uh, somebody that obeys every damn thing they tell you to do. You know, they don't like people that think outside, you know, what's going, really going on. They don't like that. Unless it's, you know, to help somebody get more rank above you, of course, right? But, um... This Obama guy, obviously, he is working for the Muslims. He is. He's working for Islam. And Valerie Girat owns him. The attorney that basically put him in, brought him around in the political life in the beginning. She's, uh, she's, you know, she's, she admitted she's all for, um, you know, Islam and Muslims and supporting Sharia law and changing the USA to reflect that. I, I don't know. The way I look at it, I think you ought to just torch the bitch. You know what I mean? She's nobody. Nobody elected her. I mean, well, I don't give a shit. You know, the way I look at it is like Muslims going to freaking play those rules. Okay, those are the rules. I don't care. Yeah, all this said this. Or, I don't give a shit. I mean, that's the way I look at it. I mean, I look at it like, you know, those are the rules. No problem. Those are the rules. You know, I saw one thing. I was like... One thing I saw some Christians do that I thought was really cool. Um, these Islamic yo-yos were going after the church and Christianity and trying to kill people and shit. Well, they just fought them right back. And then these Muslims went over to the mosque and they were hiding in the mosque. And uh, 
it blew the mosque up with the freaking Muslims in it. That's what I look at. I don't give a shit. It's holy. I don't care. I really don't care, man. I mean, I think it's just some bullshit pagan religion. You know, to tell you the truth, man, right now I'm really leaning towards the Jews because I, I really, I look at <laughs> the Christians are so full of it. The Vatican, yeah, they ain't got enough. They give to the poor. and we're more, we're more wealthy than everybody in the whole freaking world, man. And that guy, Pope Francis, he's a load of it, man. He's the, he's the anti-pope. But I even saw stuff coming out from the Catholics about, oh, you know, the mini-nuke that possibly happened in Ukraine. Is this the end of times coming? I'm like, the end times is always coming. How's that? Who gives a shit? The end times was coming 50 million times already. I mean, people in your religion are a bunch of freaking wackos. That's all I got to tell you about them. You know, I mean, I guess wouldn't even, I wouldn't be I wouldn't make a good Jew too because I pissed them off too. But right now, I lean more to them than anybody else. I can tell you that right now. But when it comes down to the elite, got some kind of I call them the elite because it's obvious if it's a Republican or Democrat, they got the card, they got the things covered. They always do, as far as the presidencies goes, not the House of Representatives. Like all hope is not lost, but. Obama, they got him in there, I think, to basically weaken the United States, because that's a new world order, new world order objective, right? And create division, and also formulate war. Because by his inaction, in other words, if you whack these freaking ISIS yo-yos right away and nipped it in the bud, there wouldn't be a war. But he's allowing it to get stronger and stronger with American-made stuff. Which is making me think, why the hell should I pay taxes? You know? Why should I pay taxes, man? What are we doing? Paying taxes to freaking ISIS? What the hell is this shit? <laughs> paying taxes to some bimbo that says they're going to they're gonna save our embassy and they're going to take care of it. Are you going to polish the furniture in there, too? <laughs> Do we have an agreement? Did you sign it? Do we have it notarized, too? <laughs> you know what? You ought to take that bitch that's in the State Department and stick her, have her do a tour, have her personally check the place to make sure the furniture's straightened out. Just her. No weapons, no guards. Let's see what they do to her. And that'll end that situation. That's the way I look at it. You know? Yeah, lady. They gave you a promise, man. We'll, we'll, you, we'll give you a parachute. You could drop down there. You land there. You, we have, you know, take some pictures and shit. And uh, tell us how it goes. When you, when, you, when you call us up when you're ready to leave. <laughs> That's what I do with that State Department bimbo. <laughs> They'd be selling her as a sex slave. And you know what? I don't care. Good. <laughs> Take Hillary with you. <laughs> Take Michelle Obama. Oh, wait a minute. She's got a dick. Remember, uh, remember, uh, what's her face? Um, Joan Rivers. You know, we don't happen with her, right? They whacked her, right? Why? <laughs> Michelle Obama does have a dick. <laughs> or something's with that deal. I mean, she's a transsexual or something. That's a reality, man. But why are they doing all this crap? It's to destroy the United States. It's an attempt to destroy the United States. But don't focus on that. That's the game. So some idiot is in a White House that's a freaking Muslim with a freaking... Valerie Girat, and he's, he's got a transgender wife and stuff. So what? So what? What the hell good is he going to do anyway? What's he going to do? Pick up his golf club and freaking, uh, you know, stop the enemy? He ain't nothing. He's a piece of shit, you know? I mean, I laugh at a lot of this shit because sometimes, you know, they're saying, oh, you can't get at Obama, and I was like, you know... You know, because he's got this big freaking car with a big door on it. You know, some yo-yo walked right, in, right across the White House and had this bitch try to freaking shut the door in the White House. He just burst right through and knocked her over. And I was like, man, I don't know, man. I think, you know what it might be, too? He, he might be a pawn body elite that something's going to happen to Obama himself. And a lot of Americans will probably say, well, good. But that might be another game, too. 
because if something happens to Obama, this is why I don't, wouldn't want nothing to happen to him because it's it's a tarnishment on the strength of the United States. The fact that he's president, he always has to be protected 110% all the way. You, when he's not president, I don't give a shit, man. You can just, I mean, it's like, if he's like, uh, you know, impeached and he's a treasonous trial and all this kind of crap, yeah, well then, I don't know, set him on fire, I don't give a shit. <laughs> but as long as he's president, he's got to be uh, protected. Because it looks bad. You know, it's bad for the image of the United States. I don't know, it's a crazy situation, that's all I gotta say. And, uh, you know, I kind of just went off on it. I just shoot from the hip on this thing, but I gotta tell you, man, a lot of the crap that's even on any of the major media or alternative media, I mean, they just dramatize all this crap left and right. But there's got to be a method to the madness behind this, because i got to say it again. Obama did not just win, you know, by, you know, he got elected because, you know, he charmed the audience. and Nah, nah. All presidents, if they're in a Democrat or Republican camp, they're basically hand-picked. The guys, there's guys behind this, they're handpicked. And that doesn't mean that we're screwed no matter what, because the, most of the power is in the House of Representatives, and there's too many of them for the big money to, to manipulate. But there's something about why we have a president that is very much leaning towards the Islamic side. It's to create... A lot of shit where people get so pissed off and it creates a bigger war. There was never going to be, there would never be a big war in the Middle East if you took care of the situation right away. It's got to first get out of hand first. And that's what Obama's mission is. Or that's the mission of the people that chose Obama. They're looking for a major conflict. And that's really those people that are our unelected leaders need to be the absolute focus of our military. <laughs> you know what I mean? There are unelected leaders, you know, the ones that are pulling the purse strings, the uh, non-governmental organizations. And, you know, they can't really protect themselves because there's always novel ways around everything, you know? I mean, it could be driving in, you know, a car that's got steel is thick, but hey, is it? would that make a nice microwave oven or a conven conventional oven? Yeah, probably. You know, it's a lot of shit that could happen. You know, could it just fall off a cliff that goes 100 feet down? Yeah, maybe. There's a lot of shit that could happen, you know? Sometimes you got to think outside the box, you know? Like, remember Genghis Khan? You know, they had these big wall, castle walls and shit like that. Well, he says, well, we can't get those castle walls, so we stick the dead bodies of an emaciated enemy that are rotting with disease and stuff. We stick them in catapults and we fly them over the walls and we create sickness inside the castle. And then it weakens them and then and we go in there and get them. There's always a way around it, man. Peace, love, harmony. You know... Should not be too revealing on here. But it's like, you know, I gotta tell people some things that are really going on and get away from these giddy rumor yo yo's. And, uh, you hear that clicking noise? That's my cat laying on my keyboard over here again. Going, I don't know if you can hear that shit. But, uh, now he's off it. <laughs> Aggravates me. He does that shit. But anyway, um, just remember that this whole deal with Obama is not just him. It's not just Valerie. There's a, there's a method to the madness. They're looking for a major war. They're looking to weaken the United States. And just cut focus on uh, that there's some hidden hands behind the scenes trying to pull this shit. You know? You know, it's kind of crazy, too, when I heard about, you know, I knew about 911 was a setup, but 
you know, I don't even know why they even need to set up anything with this point. They, they want Iraq attacked, just say, well, we want Iraq attacked. You know? Anyway, but that was my honest thought when I saw that building blow up. I mean, I felt bad about the firemen, the police, the maintenance people, the janitors, the hot shot, big shit, big wigs in a globalist World Trade Center, you know, flying high on the freaking thing, and, you know, somebody's got their head up this one's ass and all this kind of shit. I don't, I didn't really care. That's how much I don't like Wall Street. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Does that mean? I don't care. I didn't really give a shit. I really didn't give a shit. I'm probably the only one that thought like that. See, my boss had a more unique thought, but I don't want to say what it was. <laughs> kind of made me laugh. I'm surprised about what he... It's the first thing that popped out of his head, but... Uh, anyway... Um... There's a method to the madness with their pulling. Trying to weaken the United States, create a bigger war than what in the Middle East. Obama was handpicked for this mission. If Obama... If there's a hidden hand going on here, and... Uh, you know, I don't exactly know what the hidden hand is, but there is one. Uh, some people call that conspiracy theory. Well, it, there, it's always like that. It's always been like that. Personally, I like to see the United States be the new world order, the USA, with our way of life, our true way of life. We have limited government, a bill of rights for all nations, all peoples across the world, and even if we do it with through colonization, I don't care. Because our way of life is actually just, which you see in other, well, as Marines would know, which you see in other countries is unjust all over the place. It's ridiculous. People in the United States don't realize how good they got it, man. But anyway, I don't know, giving up weapons, that pissed me off, man. I don't know if I would, I don't know if I would have done that. I'm not sure if I would. I'm not sure if I would have, man. I don't know. I can't say for sure because I wasn't in this situation, but I don't know if I would have. That's like a hot point. It's not like somebody taught me the rifleman's code. and that's. I don't know. I just thought about that. I was thinking that way before I was in the Marine Corps. How's that? So, I mean, you don't do that kind of shit. Anyway, that's all I got to say.